For the single leg box squat, we are progressing toward a very challenging exercise, the single leg squat. But we're using a stable elevated surface to help us get stronger as we work toward that. So I'm gonna show you a few different levels of progression so that you can choose the appropriate level for you now and you can know where you can progress to next. So you'll need to start on a stable elevated surface. You can use a box bench or step. If you're at home, you wanna use a couch, you can do that. Just make sure it's not so squishy that you're sinking way down into it or that it's so low to the floor that you can't stand up from it. You could also use a chair, not a swivel chair, but a chair with four legs up against the wall so that it's not going to move out from behind you. The lower the surface, the harder this will be. Sit at the edge of that surface and now with a regular box squat, we would have feet and knees about hip width apart or a little bit wider. We'd have core engaged, rib cage down, shoulders down and back and spine in neutral, right? We're gonna do that with this exercise as well. Hinge forward, screw your feet into the floor as you stand up, right? Now for the single leg version of this, walk your feet closer together. We will not just go straight into one foot lifted the whole time. Instead, master this level first and progress up toward that. So we'll start with a kickstand position. You can have one set of toes on one foot up, or you can have one heel up. This foot is now gonna be here primarily for balance. I'm not focusing on pressing through this foot. I'm focused on this foot. So this is the side that's gonna be working, okay? From here, lean forward, drive this foot down and screw it into the floor to come up to standing and then sit your hips back and gently sit back down. A couple of things you may notice that'll be a little bit different from the regular squat is that when we're placing the emphasis on one leg, you may notice your hips wanna drop to the side, focus on sitting straight back you may also notice that your knee on that working side wants to cave in. We need to squeeze our glutes and open out through our hip. I like to think about pressing my knee out and screwing my foot into the floor. All that's doing is it's not actually opening my knee out awkwardly. It's just helping me keep my knees aligned with my toes. All right, so we've got that kickstand option, right? Once you've mastered that, you would add the option to do the kickstand on the way up, hinge, stand, and now on the way down, the eccentric or lowering part of this, have that kickstand foot now lifted. We're going to slowly lower down without plopping, gently sit down, drop the foot, kickstand, stand up, single leg, sit down. And once you've mastered that, now you're ready to do single leg, the whole time. So foot lifted, hinge forward, knees aligned over midfoot. And it's tough. You can see I've already dropped my foot, which is always an option to regain your balance. Stand up, hips sit directly back and lower down without plopping or dropping down at the end. When you are ready and feeling stable with any of those options, you can add resistance. You can hold a dumbbell or kettlebell forward of your chest and perform the move with the external resistance. Inhale forward, exhale up, and inhale down and repeat. 